Hi guys, welcome back to Sam's Life with a Husky. Today we are making dog treats. We are making peanut butter pretzels for dogs. Now, before we get started, I've been looking at my analytics. 85% of you that watch me are not subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends so that way we can grow the audience. Alright, let's get to it and I'll show you the ingredients. Alright guys, so we're going to go through the ingredients here. There aren't too many. Um, you need a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. Um, also four ounces, that's why I got the little thing. So it's four ounces or quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. You need half a cup of peanut butter. You need uh, one beaten egg but you're going to take one tablespoon of that and set it aside because you need to do an egg wash and then you need a half a cup of oats and a cup and a half of oat flour um, if you want to substitute for a different flour uh, by all means go ahead uh, but I decided to go along with the recipe and use the oat flour so before we get started we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So now we're going to combine all of our ingredients into a bowl. So take my oat flour, my oats, my peanut butter, and remember guys if you haven't seen my other treat videos, spray the bottom of your um, measuring cup and your um, bowl here with uh, cooking spray and the peanut butter will fall right out. So I got those in here. Now I'm going to add the egg. And remember, save a tablespoon for the egg wash at the end. There's that. And now the applesauce. Remember, unsweetened applesauce. Just going to plop that in here. Scoop it all out. And now we're going to mix it all together. Now I have not made this recipe before, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It says you it wants you want your dough to be somewhat moist still. So, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up and then I'll show you the next step. As you can see, we have our helper here. Right goes man. Uh, now that we have mixed our dough, there we go. Now that we have mixed our dough, um, we are going to take our dough. We're going to take about two tablespoons or so, maybe. It might be two tablespoons. And then we're going to roll it out. It says to roll it out so that it's about 10 inches long. I might have to add a little water to this. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Start over. Okay, so you got your dough. You want to make sure your dough is very moist. I actually had to add water to my dough, um, but you want to take about two tablespoons or so, and you want to roll it out just like so. 
If it's too dry, it's going to crumble. See, mine's starting to dry out. I'm going to need to add a little bit more water to it. But it'll be okay for this one, I think. See how it's crumbling on me right there? If it's crumbling, you need to add water. Now, keep in mind, the oats dry it out. So that's why it's crumbling while I work with it. Actually, it's falling apart. And then... You're just going to take it, as long as it doesn't fall apart, get it unstuck from the table. Take it and spin it. And then you have your pretzel. Now I probably could have added a little more dough to this one, but I'm going to pick it up ever so carefully. Got to stick the pieces back together. There's your pretzel. And then your cookie sheet. I've done two already. I do need to add more water to my dough because it is crumbling on me. It says to make it 10 inches long and the width of a pencil, but even when, it, when my dough was moist on the first, first two, I couldn't do that. So I am going to add just a tinch more water, finish these up, and then I'll show you the aftermath. Okay, so I can't keep my dough from crumbling. So I'm going to kind of do what Annie Ann's does, and I'm just going to make pretzel bites because I want these to be smaller for a uh, ghost anyways to help control the portions. So I rolled it out. You can see it's even crumbling as I pick it up. I've added water, I've added flour, I've done all the things, and it just keeps crumbling on me. You can see all the cracks in the dough. So what I'm going to do is I roll it out, and I'm just going to take a piece, break it off, and I'm going to make little pretzel nuggets, just kind of like Amy Ann's does with their pretzel bites. And I'm going to put them on my cookie sheet, and that's what we're going to do. Like I said, I've never tried this recipe before, and it didn't work out for me. So I'm just going with the flow and just making what I can with the dough. I'm going to roll it out. I don't want it to be too thick because then it will take forever to cook. See how it's crumbling? And I'm not putting any pressure on it as I roll it. I'm just letting it roll itself out, and it's just crumbling. So, I don't know how the person did it on TikTok. This is actually a recipe that I found on TikTok from another dog mom. She did it. I loved it. She must have a little more talent with baking than I do. Um, so... This is what I'm going to do. I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done putting them on the cookie sheets. And then we'll throw them in the oven. Remember, make sure your oven is preheated to 350. Okay, so I did my modified pretzel nugget thing here. I am still going to do the egg wash. So I'm going to take my egg. And I'm just going to generously kind of tap it on there. doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just tapping it on there. They aren't real pretzels anymore anyway, so you probably wouldn't have to do this. But we're going to do it anyways, just to make it like it's supposed to be. Now, I am very disappointed in this recipe. Um, if any of you are able to do it the way that the instructions said to do it, then let me know down in the comments. Now granted, I'm usually a pretty good baker, but uh, apparently not so much today. So, I'm going to throw these in the oven. It says to throw them in the oven um, at 350 for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes. I'm going to throw it in for 30 minutes because these are a little thicker than the recipe originally called for. 
Um, as you can see, they are very close together. So they're not going to grow. They're going to stay just as they are. And they're going to be pretzel nuggets. And honestly, my dog is going to like them either way because there's peanut butter in them. So that's why I'm not too upset about this. But I am disappointed in the recipe. I followed her recipe to the T. And uh, my dough did not come out right. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and throw these in the oven again for about 30, 25 to 30 minutes. And when we come back, I'll show you the end result and the taste test. Alright guys, they're all done. I let them completely cool. They kind of look like pretzel nuggets. I mean, for uh, being a fail of a recipe, this one, Ghost, seems pretty interested in trying one. So let's do the taste test. Let's give you, let's give you this one. What do you think? Oh my goodness, you got a dirty forehead. Were you digging? Can you speak? <coughs> speak? <coughs> yeah? There you go. What do you think? Was that delicious? Do you, do you want another one? What do you think? Do you want another one of these? I think that's a win for him. Yeah? Can you sit? Oh yeah, you can sit. Here, you can have want another one. You speak? <coughs> yeah? Speak again? <coughs> yeah. I think that's a win, guys. And they're not crunchy, so they are pretzel-like. It was just the recipe wasn't working out, so we made mutt nuggets instead. If you guys are able to make this work and actually make them look like pretzels, <laughs> you've had two. That's enough. Don't don't look at me like that. Two is enough. We get more later's. If you guys get this recipe to work, please let me know and let let me uh, know what you did. Leave it down in the comments. Yeah. <coughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay. Maybe one more. One one more. I think he likes them. Yeah, yeah, that one was a little bit bigger. <laughs> Alright guys, that is all we have for you today. If you like this video, um, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. Like I said earlier, 85% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so just hit the button. You watch us anyways. Alright, you guys have a great day. Enjoy the cooling of the evening. It was 95 degrees today. You guys can see... I brushed them yesterday, but that's not even a quarter of what was here. It blew away in the wind. Say goodbye, ghost man. Say bye, guys.